All right, so we are walking around right now. We are getting ready to go. At this time, she told me I had 30 seconds. So I started trotting in because we were standing still for a little bit, waiting for our turn. Just chilling under the tree because it was a million degrees that day. It literally got to like 99 degrees. So it was so hot. So we were chilling, like I said. And now we're going in the box. 15 seconds, 10, 9, blah, 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 blah. And he's always good in the start box. Thank you. And then you. we go, and then we go to the first jump. And of course, it was ugly. Not bad. Yep. Yep. Uh, he never gets the distance to the first jump. I don't know why. It's not like he was looking at it or anything. It was such a simple man log. It just he just never gets the distance. Okay, anyways, and then we're going to jump number two. It is a chevron. And he jumped it absolutely beautifully. He was so happy with it. Perfect distance. He jumped it big. He was so nice over that. And then we go back to another man log. Which he jumps okay. He didn't really respect it. He was just like, eh, whatever. And as you can tell, he's going pretty fast. Well, it doesn't look like it, but he's going pretty fast for beginner novice pace. And the course was very, very close together. So we definitely had a lot of time. And he jumped that jump very well as well. And here I'm asking him to slow up nicely several times and he's not doing it. So I have to give him a big half halt because he's just running like he's going training. I'm like, no, you gotta chill out. And then he jumped that piano jump kind of off because he wasn't listening. He wasn't getting back to me. He jumped that one kind of close to the base. So he got kind of an awkward distance. So, um... It was really awkward, but he wouldn't slow down to get the good distance, so it was sort of his fault. And then approaching this one, he jumped it pretty well. Fairly simple. And then big half halts because he's not listening to my little ones. He's not chilling out. And then going up to this jump, it was a lot steeper than when I walked it for some reason. It was so much steeper while I was riding him. So it was a bit of an effort. <laughs> Jumped that one fairly well. Going around these two jumps here because we definitely needed the time. And right about here, I force him to go in like a dressage canner mode because he was just going way too fast. We almost got time penalties, so that's why we're going so slow. He jumped that one a bit long, but still jumped it really beautifully. And now we're going in the back here towards the water and everything. This place was so incredibly gorgeous, y'all. Like, just riding here, I was just like in awe at how pretty it was. Anyways, <laughs> so we're going and here he's got the pace that I wanted all along. It's very slow and steady, easy beginner novice pace. And then we're approaching this gate, which was number 11, and he jumped it absolutely beautifully, completely foot perfect. And then we're going downhill to this roll top. And he jumped it very well. It was a bit long, and I had to turn my body quite a bit to make sure he got the right lead. But, um... He jumped it well, I was very happy, and then we jumped like this steeplechase bench and then went into the water. He jumped this steeplechase so perfectly. I wish someone would have gotten this back part of the jumps because it was so pretty. And then he cantered into the water perfectly, didn't even look twice, and then we go back out where we came because this is like a separate section on the course sort of. So we're going back over the same bridge we came up on. Again, we're doing a very, very slow canner because we need the time. And then he jumped this faux tricaner very awkwardly. He just didn't get the distance. I didn't ask him properly and he sort of looked in it. But he still jumped it. It was very ugly, but we did it. And then coming to the last jump, he's literally doing a dressage canner. Like slower than he would do in dressage. 
So he was like, Mom, what's going on? But then he jumped the last jump very beautifully and then still did a canter in place through the finish line. Finished perfectly, had no time penalties, had no jump penalties. He was so good. So happy with him for putting up with it and riding through that heat. It was so hot, but he was so, so good. So I'm very happy with how he did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.